What up guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Thales and we're back with another How To Slice. In today's How To Slice video, we're gonna be checking out some awesome flexes. So let's go. So these are some awesome animal flexes. As you can see, these are really nice right here. We got a really big uh, build plate so I can show you all of these models. Right here, we got the flexi, uh, beer dragon, articulated a lot, flex a lot. Um, right here the gator crocodile and the toad so all of these models can be printed with the same print settings so i'm going to be showing you right now so just a disclaimer i did not uh, reduce the size of this model right here i have a really big uh, build plate just to show all of these models right here at the same time because they can be printed with the same print settings so let's go so first off, right here in layer height, we're going to be decreasing this value to 0.16 millimeters. By reducing this value, we're going to have more layers to print. It's going to take more time to print, but we're going to have a finer and better quality. And for this flexis, it's really nice because we're going to have a better quality print. Right here on vertical shells, we're going to be printing at 3, just so we can get a really rigid model. So if a kid throws it in the wall, it's not going to break. So this is perfect. Going over to infill, we're going to be printing with a 10% infill pattern just so we can get a more rigid um, and dense model with a gyroid infill pattern. Going over to brim, let's analyze if this model really needs brim. So brim is a really nice feature to increase the surface of contact to the build plate. And um, this articulated models, they have a really tiny part, a tiny um, contact to the build plate, as you can see. But if you add brim, it's sometimes quite hard to remove and will mess up um, the effect of a articulated model. So we're not going to be adding brim because it's quite hard to add brim and to actually to remove brim on articulated parts. So what we're going to be doing is there are some tips to um, increase your bed adhesion. First off is to always cleaning clean your build plate with some isopropylic alcohol or detergent just to get a really clean surface to build on to get a good first layer print and make sure your printer is really well leveled because with a leveled printer you're going to get a good first layer and good adhesion and finally if you have you still have some bad adhesion issues i do recommend if you want you can put a fine layer of glue stick just to secure a model to the build plate so it's not gonna uh, um, unstick from the build plate and um, turn into a mess. So um, these are really nice features to increase the bed adhesion without adding any brim. Going over to support material, this model is optimized for printing so we're not gonna be adding um, any support material. Going over to speed, we can be printing at the standard print uh, settings. But especially for bamboo uh, printers actually you can be printing with the standard print settings but i do recommend slowing down your print on small parts such as the articulated model so feel free to vary this value right here feel free to choose what you find best as you can see right here on small perimeters you can be i do recommend slowing down this value it's gonna just slow a little bit of the speed on small parts so let's reduce to 55 just so i can show you it's going to depend on which, the speed is going to depend on each printer you have. So right here on the Ender 3 V3SC, the standard is quite nice. I have reduced right here the first layer speed from 30 millimeters to 20 millimeters a second because the first layer is the most important layer. All of the other layers are going to go on top of the first one. So make sure you got a really good first one. Other than that, all of your um, layers are going to turn out not nice. So now we are ready to slice. So Prusa had a difficult time slicing all of the model in the same build plate as I was showing you before because all of the models can be printed with the same print settings. This is why I have shown all of the models in the same build plate but I was not uh, able to slice because Prusa was taking too much time and it was not working. So I'm going to be showing you right now just this model. So it is at a 10% in fill pattern as I have shown. I just wanted to show right here on speed, it reduces the speed while printing small perimeters, such as the connections right here. So this is gonna help a lot with cooling and um, so you're gonna get a good quality settings on these attachments 
that are articulated. So this is quite nice. Grab a really nice filament that you have laying around and print these models right now because they're really cute. So the models are ready to print. Make sure to check out stlflix.com for more models like this one and I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.